Hello, and welcome to ExcelMasterSeries.com. Today we're going to show how to use the beta distribution to solve problems, and we're going to do it in Excel. Let's take a look at our Excel spreadsheet. We'd like to remove the grid lines to make the spreadsheet more readable. So hit Tools, then Options. Then uncheck the checkbox next to grid lines, hit OK, and our grid lines are gone. Now the beta distribution models events that occur between a minimum and maximum time period. It calculates the probability of an event occurring up to or at a certain time period within this time interval. And it's used to model project planning control systems such as PERT and CPM. Let's take a look at a typical problem that uses the beta distribution to solve it and can be solved in Excel. This problem reads as follows. Calculate the probability of completing a project before time t equals 5 if the project can be described by the following parameters. Alpha equals 8, beta equals 10, a, minimum time of completion is 2, B, maximum time of completion is 7. There are five parameters in Excel. First one is X, the value being evaluated at. Well, the problem reads, calculate the probability that the project will be completed by time T equals 5. So in this case, X is set to 5. And the Excel formula only calculates the cumulative distribution function, that is the probability of the event occurring up to time equals 5. It doesn't calculate the probability density function, that would be the probability of the event occurring exactly at t equals 5. Our second parameter is alpha. It must be non-negative. And we've set alpha to equal 8 in the problem. And we can see below the numbers put into the formula. Third parameter is beta, also must be non-negative. And we've set beta to equal 10 in the problem. And we look at the bottom of the page, we can see the beta distribution formula with the parameters put in there. In Excel, there are no spaces between numbers in the formula. We've put spaces in here to make it more readable. Fourth parameter, A, the lower interval of time, we've set that to 2. And fifth parameter is, of course, B, the maximum time of completion. It's 7. And in the middle of the page is the beta dist formula with the parameters put in there. X equals 5, alpha equals 8, beta equals 10, A equals 2, B equals 7. And there is a 90.81% chance that the project will be completed by time t equals 5. Let's take a look at our interactive Excel chart. We've created this in Excel. It's very easy to make. And if we take the cursor and put it right above point t equals 5 and touch the chart line, we see the value on the chart line agrees with the value that we've calculated with the formula, 90.81%. This is an interactive Excel chart. You can easily make this. At, at the end of this video, we'll give you instructions on how to purchase an e-manual that you can make all these different kinds of charts and do these calculations in Excel. This is an interactive chart. Let's vary the parameters and watch the changes reflected in our chart. So, for example, varying maximum time from 7 to 20, we see that change, then back to 7, back to our original 7, and then varying minimum time from 2 to 4, back to 2, changing all of the parameters and watching those changes reflected in the chart. And back to our original 10 and changing the alpha from 8 to 4 and back to our original 8. If you would like to master MBA level statistics in Excel, check out our Excel Statistical Master Series of e-manuals at www.excelmasterseries.com slash emanual.php. Thank you very much and goodbye.